Hey guys, in this video today, I want to show you how you can use two iPads as a secondary screen for your MacBook. For example, when I'm working here in DaVinci Resolve, I can use another screen to work with my media, put all of the media here into my timeline, and I can have another iPad that is my viewer now with the viewer mode. So in this video now today, I will show you number one, how it works with two iPads, and number two, how you can use DaVinci Resolve on two external devices. First of all, there is something in macOS and iPad that you can use that is straight works with your macOS and with your iPad that is called Sidecar. How this works is if you have your iPad logged in with the same account and you are in the same Wi-Fi. So here at home, I'm at the same Wi-Fi with my MacBook and also with my iPad. Then what I can do is I can come to any tab here, my browser, for example, and then when I hover over this, you will see here, now I can move this either to my iPad mini or I can move it here to my iPad Pro. What doesn't work is you cannot use this system for both iPads. That's why in a second I will show you how I do this with a second iPad. But I can always use this function built in into macOS. If you don't have it, just make sure that you have the latest updates, also the latest updates on your iPad. Make sure it's the same Apple ID. It recognizes the same Apple ID. So this is my iPad, this is my MacBook. So it understands that this belongs to me and I have to be in the same network. So when I now go here and I hover over and I go to my iPad mini, I can move this window now here with via sidecar to my iPad mini. The only issue here is when you have this one and you use the built-in, you will always have like a menu bar here and something here on the bottom because you can actually use your iPad and interact even here with the mouse. So for example, this is the iPad mini 7 that even has support for the hover feature. So I can see the mouse even without touching the screen. I can interact with the iPad. So it's not just an external monitor. You can actually use the iPad to interact with your Mac OS or even with DaVinci Resolve. But how can we get rid of this? Because as you see here, this is already the iPad mini and now it's becoming even more mini. Can we change that? And the answer is yes. You have to come here to the settings, system settings, and then come here down to this place. Now we see that we have our X mini here. By the way, I can say here arrange if I don't want, like my iPad mini sits here on the right side and now this is here on the left side. I can just click this one and put it here. So now it's actually more natural. My mouse can go over and be on the other side. But what I can do is I can click on this one and now I have two more options. I can see here show sidebar on the left and show touch bar on the bottom. I can turn this off for both of these, off and off and Voila, now I use the full screen. This is how you can work with Sidecar. That works with any window that you have. So even in DaVinci Resolve, you can put this on this screen here via the Sidecar app. But the problem we have with this function is if I now wanna have another iPad and I even come up here now and I hover over, now it doesn't show me my other iPad anymore. Before it showed me. The reason why is because this iPad mini is now active. So I can only now swap out the image. So I can say, no, I want this browser now be seen here on the iPad mini. And how we can solve that one is actually, we go for an app that is called Duet. There's like a seven day trial that you can test and you can even extend it for another seven days. But this is a very powerful tool and mostly programmers are using this because it's, you can see here now, it's tailored for programmers because programmers normally use like multiple devices and everything. But with this app, what we can do is we can create an account, open the Duet app here on my Mac, and I can now also open the Duet app here on my iPad. And because I'm launching both at the same time, I already set up everything. It automatically recognized, oh yeah, Duet can mirror my, or extend my image here to another display. So now when I come into my settings here, I see now that I have my MacBook Pro, my iPad mini, and my Duet, this is the other iPad, all sitting next to each other. So when I now launch an app, like DaVinci Resolve. This is sometimes the issue with DaVinci Resolve. If DaVinci Resolve was already open while I now connect the devices, sometimes DaVinci Resolve doesn't recognize them. So you just have to restart DaVinci Resolve. But now what I can do is I can open a project, let's say for example, the video that I created about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad mini 7, and you can work with the so-called dual screen. So how this works is you have to come into a page that actually supports dual screen. So the cut page doesn't support that, but the edit page does. When you are in the edit page now, you can come up here to workspace and then here on the workspace, I see here now dual screen and now I can turn, so here on. So now I can turn this one on. So now it starts and it moved automatically already to one of my screens. I can rearrange that. I can, for example, take this one here and move it here to my main screen or move it here to my left screen. That works immediately. It recognizes two, two screens so I can move it around however I like it. I like to keep the timeline here on the main screen and this one here. And for that one, I wanna use a feature that is called the video clean feed out. And here I can say, use the duet 
screen. So now I see my video here. I don't have to have this now big anymore. I can make this small. I have a bigger timeline. All my media and other stuff is here on the right side. And now my viewer is here on the left side. And this is very simple how you can use two iPads as external monitors in DaVinci Resolve. And the cool thing is both of these devices support the input device. So I can use my Apple Pencil and everything here. I can use and move my mouse the same with this input device. I can have my mouse here, do stuff in here. So they're not just external monitors. They are actually also input devices for your MacBook. I hope this was helpful, not just for DaVinci Resolve. Obviously you can use it now with any software that you have. I was playing around with Ableton Live the last couple of days and all my plugins, I was able to put them on the iPads and use the iPad as input devices and work on the music here on my MacBook. So the limit is what you want to do with that. So I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, then you're in the right spot because this channel is all about DaVinci Resolve. I have a masterclass about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and I even made a video to show that we don't have any limitations when it comes to DaVinci Resolve even on an iPad mini 7. Now since I have the iPad mini 7 because the performance of that chip is amazing and also we have the Apple Pencil Pro support that you normally would only get on the iPad Pro with the M4 model. So definitely check out the other videos if you found this helpful like and subscribe. I'm Daniel. We'll see us in the next video. Bye.